Africa, yeah. Oh, there we go. It's going. <laughs> what was that noise? That was me realizing that I wasn't recording my own mic audio and I was only recording Ooh. your audio and I had to Were fix it quickly. You sounded like you were doing an impression of Liz Truss. Did you hear any of those on the radio this week? Her I joke? didn't. I, I that, that was that was me figuring oh. out how to react to a joke that I'm sure was very funny, but I hadn't heard best, any of the references best com- for. Best, best comedy content I have heard in years. Okay, it's. <laughs> Why the fuck is it not? Are you doing an impression of oh, this? Are you... Yes, I'm doing that again. I'm doing that again. Okay, it's set. okay. Start streaming. I've done that. Can people see this? Write things in the chat. And I do impressions, do impressions as well. Do impressions of Liz Truss and go. Uh, 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 uh. How do you spell that, Stuart? <laughs> how do you, how do you spell the noises that Liz Truss makes? Okay, apparently we've got one concurrent viewer. So prob- probably you. Hang on, I will tweet this no, to make me. sure that people find it. I don't have the stream up. Uh... Oh, you don't have the stream. Oh, okay. People are finding us, so that's good. Can you hear this? Is this is the key question whenever we do anything? Jay, say some things. Some things. Um, um. The, do you like? What if the absorbable fuck the candy man? There we go. Okay, good. That's getting us off to a child-friendly start. <laughs> Now say say whether you can hear this, people in the chat. So, say whether you can say the words J and Stu as if we're Pokemon. How do oh, they? Okay. How would they do that as if we were Pokemon? Would they try no, to so, 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 capture they're us? They're pretending to be us, and they're, they're pretending to be us, and saying J oh, Stu, J Stu. They're doing impressions like children on a playground. Hang on, I am continuing to write in the Power of the Doctor script. In the chat, um, tell us if you've ever violated the TOS of the platform you're watching this on. (laughs) And we will tell those stories and reenact them. (laughs) I I don't want to know what they did. I just want to know if they have. It would be funny to know that. Stu, 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 J, Stu. Okay, good. We're fine. I was actually sent. I was sent some audio for my latest video from uh, well, a few other YouTubers actually. But one of them, I had to um, cut something out that she said because it was genuinely a severe TOS violation. <laughs> I was like, that was funny. It's not going in the video, but it was funny. But you found it funny, Jay. I mean, how terrible. Apparently you should be cancelled. Is... Find... You should be cancelled for finding a thing that violates the terms of service. Funny. Apparently, the stream is doing very poorly in terms of quality uh, on my end, so that's nice. Oh, okay. How how is the quality on my end, people in the chat? Get give it five out of ten. I'm just gonna give it give it twenty out of twenty. Lower my bit rate that I'm broadcasting it. Maybe that'll also help. give also give Stu money. Give me all the money right now. I want it. If one person had all of the money, would money? I feel like that would cause some kind of change in the value of the money. Yeah, probably. I think that's how economics works. Yeah. Okay, people are now just putting numbers in chat. Okay, so basically, what are we here for, Jay? We're going to write more of our uh, Power of the Doctor script. We're going to uh, finish yeah. finish it today and then the next series as well. Yeah, we're going to write as much as possible. Yeah, basically, if you weren't here last time, go and watch the previous streams, which is about three and a half hours worth of it, in which we decided to write the Power of the Doctor, which you should be able to see on my screen now. We decided to write The Power of the Doctor as a script based on what we think is going to happen in it. And we're not going to go back and redraft any of it because we're trying to think like Chris Chibnall here. No second drafts. While we're we're not redrafting it, there is a change I would like to make, and it's a new scene being injected in. So 
maybe it doesn't oh okay we're allowed redraft. we're we're allowed to do that. We're not allowed to read. We're not allowed to redraft any of what we've written so far. Because I thought about um, where I think the Dalek Ace beating up a Dalek with a baseball bat scene is likely to fit into the story, and I okay. think that it might actually be um, like how in Flux the first scene we got was like Yaz and the Doctor mid adventure. I have a suspicion yeah. that the. Ace versus the Daleks is like the scene that we're introduced to Ace in or reintroduced to Ace in. And that's like what, you know, that's what she's been up to. And then we cut to the actual story at hand. Huh, that's interesting. I still like opening it. I still like opening it with um, our scene in Micronesia, though. <laughs> Oh, no, no. I, I, I think that this would be a scene no, that comes I'm, after the credits, paid. right? So, yeah, we, we okay, keep the okay, scene after in Micronesia. The all right. Okay. All right. Okay. So, in all, so as well as writing, we will also refresh to refresh everyone's memories. Um, so we start out. We've got this scene of this character called Gerald in a random location in 2019. Um, he wakes up. He says he loves his wife, and then he goes to his job as a fisherman on a lake. So, and he fishes a cyber head out of the lake. Stuart. Yeah. I. I. I so. Right, I I would agree that we're not allowed to redraft to make the script better in quality, but are we allowed to redraft to make the script more more genuine? <laughs> okay, we're not. Uh, you're only allowed to make it worse. Not necessarily worse, just different. Just you know, <laughs> adjusting the lines to be more authentic to what we're probably going to get. All right. Okay. Fine. Which one would you like to redraft? I didn't have any in mind. I was just being, uh, I was just being particular. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So he wakes up. He says, "I love you, my wife." And then he looks down at her belly, which is big. And then he puts a hand to it, and he says, "And you, my unborn child." <laughs> so then he gets up. He gets dressed. He goes out to the lake. He fishes a cyber head out of the lake. Yeah. It starts. It starts talking to him. And it says, "Where am I? I was on Gallifrey." Oh, <laughs> then my favorite. Can, can we um can we adjust it to saying instead of like I was about to use a time ring, the master was about to use a time ring. Oh, okay, yep, yep. We're allowed to make all right minor changes like that. Because only I if think it makes just, it better. I think it's just more authentic, really. I think that's probably what the dialogue okay. would be. The master was about to use a time ring. I don't understand what you mean. Where are the others? There are others. And then he looks out and he sees more floating cyber heads and he sees that there's more of the cyber heads in the lake. Then they start walking out of the lake and all the cyber masters start walking out of the lake. And they surround Gerald and kill him. Yes. And that's our pre title <laughs> sequence. What's the um what's our our Zing what a Zinger one liner from the Master? Before uh, the title guess sequence? What, Earth? Guess what, Earth? I'm back and I'm here to party. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> I've forgotten that. <laughs> That's my genuine reaction to that. I complete. I knew that we had one, but I couldn't remember what it was. Okay. I, I, okay. I know you said you wanted to like in, include something in, in the, before before the um, opening titles here, but I just I, I want you to read how oh, how impressive this titles. is. What's what? Um, what's uh, impressive? Uh, no, after after the opening after the opening titles. Okay. In the TARDIS. Dan, Yaz, and the Doctor run back into the TARDIS holding surfboards. Yaz and Dan are laughing. Oh, I've spelt Yaz's name wrong. Yaz and Dan are laughing. Does that well, really I can't matter? believe you. I can't believe you surfed so fast away from those talking manta rays. Got to see it to believe it. The Doctor walks over to the console, not looking at them both, avoiding Yaz's eye. Yeah, it was great, wasn't it? And it was so good to see you two gals bonding. I felt like a bit of a third wheel. I will be quiet. The doctor goes and puts her surfboard away. Yeah, I, I keep calling her Yay. Yaz looks confused. Is something wrong? No, no, everything's great. Doctor, I know when you're lying to me. <laughs> well, there's, sometimes there's a reason. I thought we were done with all these secrets. Yaz attempts to approach the doctor and hold her hand. I thought you were getting to trust me. The doctor pauses broodingly. She then looks up at Yaz. I got a signal yesterday. What signal? Doctor opens up the console and shows a scan of Earth. There is one blinking dot on the planet. That's a Time Lord signature. On Earth. 
Okay, I'm not going to read all of this. Just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking... That's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> that's exactly how it's going to play. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's it's a very authentic... It's genuinely a really authentic tribunal scene. Um... So where where do you want to impl- incorporate something? So I'm, I've, I've got I've got one thought right. She says, "Come on, then, fam." Um, at the end of this scene, is "fam" something that she actually says in the show anymore, or, or was that exclusive to Graham Ryan uh, crew? I think that was exclusive to Graham Ryan and crew, but I did just put it here just because. Come on, then, fam. One more time, then she flicks a the switch. Then I Sardis think, flies I think we should save Fam for when Re- Ryan and Graham come back, because they are. And we should put, like, team there. <laughs> <laughs> come like, on then, team, one more time. Come on then. Does that sound right? I think, I mean, is that a question Does that Chris would ask? <laughs> True, yes. We are redrafting now, though, aren't we? Um, okay, space. Uh, the TARDIS flies towards Earth. Uh, then we cut to Ace in her office, and then she sees the Time Lord signature. Okay, I think instead we cut to Ace, and then the text says 2019. Um, and it's and oh, she's, de- um, definitely. Yeah. It's like mid action scene. Um, Ace is in in like a, in some caves. Um, Earth 2019. Yeah. Right. Um, Definitely has to say Earth 2019. It doesn't. Wait, what location? Okay, what location is she in? I think. Okay, so I think we cut to like um, the Daleks blowing open like an an under a door in some underground facility, right? Um, because this needs right. to be the scene in the caves that we've seen in the trailer. And you know what I think the Dalek needs to say? Okay, um, go on. Small human female detected in the area, or yeah, but. Okay, okay. H- hang on, oh, hang on. Right, huge, small oh. human female detected in immediate vicinity. Small human female detected in immediate vicinity. So, and then she's like, and then she's like, co- goes back to... Where, where would she be? So, so she, she's... In a cave in... Somewhere. Somewhere, you know? Oh, no, would this be 2020? Um, Because what I'm going for here is that this is set during Revolution of the Daleks. 2020 in... What's random? Uh, You know what? You know what I'm going to do? Where are their caves? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. on. Wales town, really long name. (laughs) <laughs> you remember I said you remember I said it would be really really funny. Yeah. Flanfair Pilgrimy Gil The problem with that is that it would actually be funny. <laughs> I'm putting it in. Go for it. Okay, so um uh, so so are we saying that this is set during Res- during Revolution of the Daleks and Ace is like blowing up a Dalek base or something? Um, yes, not 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 necessarily a base, but like she's fighting some Daleks in wherever she is. Um, okay, hang, hang on. I'm going to start it with a flyover co- shot of some countryside. Hang on. Um, countryside. I I I can I can imagine I can like imagine it opening straight up with um, action flyover action music and then you know Daleks blowing in. Hmm. But then, how does it cut? Cut to start a tranquil, fairly. So yeah, well, it cut, however, we cut to like a fast, that. exciting helicopter shot of the countryside, and then we cut straight to the you know the interior of the caves. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fly over shot of the countryside. You can see, you can see tiny Daleks down below mowing down humans with gunfire. Yes. Of that that thing that happened in Revolution of the Daleks. Um, well, that the, should have happened. Of, in... Well, no, no, it definitely did happen because you remember. Oh, what did happened it happen? When, I can't remember. Well, no. So the Doctor summons the um, the Daleks to Earth, insisting that they're they're only there for the Daleks and won't kill anyone. But as soon as Jack Robertson walks up to one of them and goes, "Hello," it, it turns around and goes, "You will be exterminated," and he goes, "Wait a second. 
It's like, hmm. Okay, so I've just put a scene of them, of like a flyer over the countryside with the Daleks shooting people, the caption, land, etc. Yeah. 2020. Can anyone in chat pronounce that name? <laughs> I want to know if someone in chat can pronounce that name. She's fighting Daleks with the, Gwen, who the beats last up bit the Daleks. Is go, go, go. Oh my god, she can actually be there with Gwen. We could, we can gen. Yeah, let's have Gwen in this scene. Why not? And then just have her not show up again. Yeah, how about that? Okay, so in um, Dalek base. This could be the Torchwood okay. base. This could be the Torchwood base. You... Unless it can be like. Um, Torchwood okay. outpost. Underground Torchwood outpost. Tor Okay, underground torchwood outpost. Torchwood outposts. Uh, right. Um. Um. A hand puts. Uh, hang on. Hang on a sec. A hand puts some explosives on a wall. Yes, that's perfect. Or is it? Wait. Are wall. we having the dial explorer door open to like start the action scene or? Um, no, she blows the door open and the Dalek... She blows the door open and the Daleks come and investigate. And then it reveals that she and Gwen are hiding behind some boxes. And then they um, look up with, like, some guns and they go, Hey, hey, you, eat this, this to, or something like that. And they go, bat. down. It, what I, what? needs to have the baseball bat. Yeah, they, like... start, they, start, yeah they, start, they start shooting them. And then there's, like, three Daleks behind the door. They start shooting them. And then they blow up two of the Daleks, and then that there's like one Dalek left, and then Ace like runs forward while it's shooting and missing her. Yes, perfect. Yes, uh, we need. We need the, <laughs> and then she smacks it with a baseball bat. We need the line, uh, it's like small human female doing whatever to be before she smacks it with a baseball bat, because I think that what they genuinely might do is repeat, because that's the setup line in Remembrance of, da of the Daleks where she says. Uh, so it's like small human female oh, yeah, located on level three. Protection. She yells, "Who are you calling small?" and beats it up with a baseball bat. It's fucking great. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, and she will say that. Who I are think, you calling small? I think that maybe. You know how like Ryan having like quite a genuinely um, showing restraint in the way that they ended his arc with the bicycle. I think this might be one where they give the um, they give the prompt for the line, and Ace just sort of like raises her eyebrow or something. I don't know. Maybe. And she said, and she said, she said, she doesn't shout it. At, oh, she doesn't shout it. She just raises her eyebrow and says it softly. Or she could say, um, like I don't know. Um, so it's like she says the line, but now she's a grown up, so it's different. Maybe I'm trying. I'm trying to think of like a way that she could say like, "Oh, big mistake." If the dialect like, says like, I don't know. You called me small, big mistake. Um. Or not, not like if, this the, is the, if the Dalek says something like problem. engaging small human female in combat, or, or I don't know, like something like that, and she goes, "Oh, big mistake," but not that line because I don't think Chris would write that. We're we're falling into the trap that I knew we would fall into if we redrafted any of this. We're trying to make it good. We're not trying to make it good. <laughs> <laughs> I knew we'd fall into that trap. Um, so. If the if the Dalek says um, small human female located, um, you will be exterminated. And then Ace says, "Oh, big mistake!" And then charges it with the baseball bat, and then hits it. Hang on, you will be exterminated. Or um, or or like it says, I don't know. Hang on, I just. Hang on, I want to. I want to do my little cinematic setup for this bit. Okay, so hand put some explosives on the wall. Um, can they be setting up the explosives to like um, blow up the Daleks when they get further into the building, rather than blowing up the door? Okay, okay. A hand puts some explosives on a floor, one after another. We see some feet running away. 
Do we see the back of her jacket on. before we see her face? Yes, that's what I'm thinking. That is that is pretty perfect. We see the back. Yeah, as I said, we're trying to make it good now. <laughs> Ace jacket. Well, I think it's like I don't know. Cinematic stuff isn't generally what this era struggles with. No, that's true. A door opens. A Dalek comes comes out. And then it says, small human female det detected, you will be exterminated. Um, so what are you saying that she says to that? I think I think the Dalek says, I think the Dalek like blows in the door and says, advancing into whatever it's going to call this area. And then she says, big mistake. Um, and tries to blow it up. But then it's like, explosion deflected with shields and then she goes oh, and hits it with the baseball bat. Yeah, something like that. Uh, oh, so like, what does it say? Advan advancing into level two. Yeah. Um, right. Um, then, and then Ace goes, big mistake. She's like, the, like she and Gwen have like a, a witty exchange like about how they need to wait for it to get a bit closer. Okay, okay. Right, hang, hang on a sec. So... Uh, reveal Ace and, Ace and Gwen behind the edge of a corridor. Sneaking looks at the Dalek. So then Ace says, just whispers, just need it to get a bit closer. I think should Gwen, Gwen be like, do it, blow it up. And then she says, just a bit closer, any second now, or something like that. Okay, okay. I think yeah, they both yeah, need yeah, lines. Yeah, I agree. Okay, okay. Yeah, what am I fucking doing? All right. Gwen. Go on, do it now. No, just need it to get a bit closer. And then what does I say? Then what does Gwen say, sorry? Um, I don't know what what does she what does what's the kind of thing that Gwen says? You're such a twat, Reese. <laughs> I think I think Gwen should mention something about uh, working for being Torchwood. such a gobshite, Owen. Yeah, something like that. Uh, oh, she can say she can say I've been I've been a Torchwood agent for however many years now. I know what I'm doing. And he says, but I'm the explosives expert. 20 years, I know what I'm doing. But I'm the explosives expert. That's um, why you hired me. And she, she sneaks a look at the Dalek. Yeah, perfect. Um, yeah. Or, or like, maybe that's why I'm here. I don't know. Yeah, something along those lines. He sneaks a look at the Dalek. I, what, the thing that I realised there is that I was trying to make it good by going, but wait, that won't. She won't. Her working for Torchwood won't come up again. And I thought, actually, no, that's fine. Um, <laughs> yes, the point. Another look of the uh, another look at the Dalek, and then counts down under her breath. Yes, uh, she sticks down another look at the Dalek. Counts down under her breath. Hang on, right, Ace. Parenthetical. Under her breath. Under her beef. Three, two, one, go. She pushes a button. Um. Hmm. The explosive goes off. Someone, just to be clear, someone in the chat, in my chat, has um has given a pronunciation pronunciation guide for that uh, Welsh town. Um. Oh, interesting. Apparently, it's. Okay. Farpwil Gwyn Go Gary Gwyn Drobville Fanto Silly O Go Go Gok. I'm guessing that's the chat on your end. I'm not saying that's on my chat. Yeah, I've only got my stream open just to um. Oh yeah. Or my chat open to just because my internet was struggling, so I've not got anything except what I need open. Okay, she pushes. Okay, so she pushes a button. The explosive goes off. Um, it doesn't explode the Dalek. Yeah, the Dalek says something like. Um, she'll um, explode. Uh, 
I have been something along the lines of I have been attacked. And, and I have been attacked. Um, under attack. Under attack. Oh yeah, under attack. Under attack. Or like um, rudimentary explosives device ineffective. Rudimentary explosives device ineffective. Against Dalek technology. Against Dalek technology. Because it has to explain the entire yeah. fucking thing. Right, um, okay. And then Ace goes, damn. Um, I think Gwen should say something along the lines of, like, um, oh, look at you, explosives expert. Oh, look at you, explosive expert. Know what you're doing, do you, explosives expert. <laughs> because obviously they have time to have a full conversation well, yeah, of course they, of course they do. <laughs> explosives expert um, and this, this is like three Daleks approaching to be clear because that's what we see in the trailer <laughs> okay um, two Daleks appear behind it right okay. they, they, they also enter two. the room right Daleks enter the room and then another dot. Uh, Gwen peeks and out one and says, the "There's more of them." <laughs> <laughs> I think that's actually. I think I think that would actually be in the episode. <laughs> There's more of them. <laughs> oh, oh! Cut, cut the first. Cut the first explosives expert line. Gwen says, "There's more of them. What do we do now, Miss Explosives Expert?" <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, 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 wait! Oh look, what you, oh look, what you doing? Explosives! Okay, cut. <laughs> what do we do now? What do we do now, Miss Explosives Expert? Um, what if uh, Ace says? And then the Ace Ace looks at like her baseball, like takes a baseball bat <laughs> out, says, "Trust me, I've fought Daleks before." And then we can have like her run, like jump out and run at them but we like the camera lingers on Gwen for a second and she like as a joke irritatedly says so have I <laughs> I think oh, so that might be it. I, like that I, I would buy that being in there okay hi right. it's no problem not a problem I fought Daleks before and then yeah runs runs out Ace runs out directly at the Daleks. Yeah. Um, Gwen Gwen makes her little joke, and then we get the scene of like Ace charging them and then beating them with the baseball bat. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And right, we need hang a on a sec. We need hang a sec. Gwen Gwen parenthetical. Gwen parenthetical. Incredulous. So have I. Yeah. And then. Um, Ace charges at the Daleks, who shoot her and miss. About t ten times. <laughs> and miss. And then, uh, oh, and that is where we get the, uh, hang on, ha hang on, Dalek, small, hang on, hang on, small human female detective. Detective? Detected. Yeah, small human female detected, Ace. Who are you calling small? And then, are we saying that she fucking destroys all three of these Daleks with a baseball bat? Yeah. I, or maybe, like, Gwen, like, pops her head out with a gun and gets one of them. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Ace starts smashing. And I think we need a through three. line between these scenes. Um... Where, where um, Ace can say something like, um, Ace like asks the Dalek, like, right, like Ace, Ace like dis disables the Dalek, but it's still alive and asks it like, where's the doctor? And it says location of the doctor unknown. Cause that needs to be, we need to get like a few of yes. these flashback scenes in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, that, yeah. so that we can build up like a, like a, a character okay, motivation okay. for her. Okay, right. Um... Right, so Gwen shoots the Daleks with a laser gun. Eventually, all three Daleks are broken husks. Ace stands, breathing heavily, looking down, 
looking down at the damaged Dalek. She drops her baseball bat. I think she needs it for like for, for like threatening it, right? Oh, oh, because I was thinking like a moment of like where the action falls, but yeah, okay, okay, we okay. Can do, uh, we can does... do either. Yeah. I mean, but what 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 needs to happen is right. She's like right now. Where? It's... Hang on, hang hang on, hang, hang on, hang on, hang on. Dal the Daleks, um, the dying Dalek now says, "I have sustained lethal damage." Yeah. To be fair, like of all of all of the characters in Doctor Who, the Daleks <laughs> actually do this in a lot of their good stories. <laughs> yes. I have sustained terminal damage. My vision is impaired. I cannot see. Let's announce this to the entire battlefield. <laughs> that's that's in good stories. <laughs> Hang on. I have sustained terminal damage. What does Ace say then? Like, where is the doctor? Um, should we? What? Um, what if... <laughs> What, what if, uh, what if uh, okay, what if it's like, I have I have sustained se severe damage, and she says, yeah, and that'll be, and that's going to be lethal damage in a minute, but unless you tell me, where is the doctor? Okay, she doesn't drop her baseball bat, hang on a sec. Holding up her baseball bat again, hang on. And then it can, we can, we can carry on the eve of the Daleks dialogue tradition of saying, of the, the Daleks saying, the da uh, Daleks do not answer human questions. Because that's like half of the dialogue in Eve of the Daleks. Yeah. Is Daleks do not do X. Right. Dalek. Daleks do not answer human questions. And then Ace can be like... Hang, hang on, hang, hang on, hang, hang on, hang on. So... Hang on, then I've got an idea. Gwen comes over to Ace and and says, "Leave it, Ace. He's done." That that, that works for me. Um, the yeah. thing that I want to get in there is that the scene is transitioned by Ace hitting the the Dalek with the baseball bat. Right? You know, it's sort of like yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like with that. With the yeah. impact of the baseball bat, we cut to the next scene. Which actually, you know, that's, I don't think that's something bad that I'm recommending. I just think that that might be how they do it. And I think it's a completely legitimate way to tr transition scenes. Daleks do not answer human questions. Hang on, so right then. Oh, someone in the chat had a better suggestion. Do you f I, I don't know if this is actually... Ooh, okay. I don't know if this is... Um, if this is better in terms of more authentic or actually better if it's actually better we shouldn't do it but uh, i have sustained near i have sustained near lethal damage ace yeah it will be lethal soon i'm not sure it is better in terms of like an actual better line of dialogue that would be better in a story i like it though yeah. Hang on, so what's different about it? I have sustained severe damage. That's going to be lethal damage if you don't tell me where the Doctor is. It's, I know, it's just slight rewording, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to put that in there because that's part of her character arc in this, that she's, like, desperate to see the Doctor again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Dal Daleks do not answer human questions. Gwen comes over to Ace. Leave it, Ace, he's done. Where are the Doctor? Do Gen tri Gwen tries to pull Ace back, but she smashes the Dalek again. Oh, um, I'll, ma I'll make it clear now that um, if you want to read the script, um, it will be linked in the description of the YouTube re-upload or in the description of your stream, right? Stuart, could, yeah, you, yes, it will. Yes, it will be. And uh, yeah, if you're watching on Jay's channel, watch it on my channel and you actually get <laughs> to like watch the script being written. You do. That's true. Um, if you want to see a picture of Ace and Tegan the whole time, you can watch it on my channel. Yeah, we probably should have explained this earlier. Oh, who cares? <laughs> we've only been going for half an hour. We've been going for half an hour. Oh uh, yeah, we've been going for half an hour. Me because me because I don't have nearly as many followers as you do. Yeah, go go watch go watch Stuart's stream. Well, to be fair, my that's Twitch a good is struggling. Idea. And Stubag scribe to Stubag full. Yes.
or something like that. Um, I've also I've also put recently put out a new episode of my podcast. It's the it's a project where I actually try to be good. That's why would you do that? Well, because I have stories in me to tell. Yeah, I've got a podcast. It's called Abnormal Stories. You can find it on Spotify. Excellent. I tell weird story. I tell weird stories in it. I would never expect anyway. you to tell a normal story, Stuart. No, I never tell. I never tell normal stories. Anyway, the latest episode is about a surviving robot who has survived a nuclear apocalypse, and he explores a haunted factory. Ooh. It's fun. Anyway, You're we should fun. go back to whatever we were talking about. Yes, well, we should go back to whatever. Well, we're What's, talking about so i think that the next scene also needs to have a returning character who won't show up again for the rest of the episode and a an established doctor who villain because i think i think basically as far as i'm aware chris wrote this with the um idea in mind that it might be the last doctor who episode because there wasn't a uh, confirmed showrunner to hand off to when he was writing it um, yeah i agree with that so that's, prob that's probably I, almost certainly what happens Okay, well, the next scene that we've got is Ace finding Ace at her computer and seeing the signal of the Doctor. I think what, what we need master. is we need another another pre-established Doctor Who thing appearing because everything that's going to appear will be pre-established, right? Um, we need well, like another the, well, Doctor this, Who character also um, alongside Ace. Well, in, we this, to... in, in, in this scene, she directly talks to um, Tegan after seeing the thing. Yeah, but I think... I think we should do a like rule of three thing, right? The first flashback is the Daleks, then it's like slightly more recent and she's looking still looking for the okay. doctor, and then we get to the current day where she's looking for the doctor even more. Um Okay. Yeah. What are yeah, the I'm what are the series Uh so what happened in, in Flux, mm. right? Are there any flux events that we can put her in the middle of? Um any... Oh god, who remembers what the fuck happened in Flux? Uh, I mean, there was the Santarans showing up, but that got undone, I think. Caption. So, so, so we're going to put a caption in each of them, then. So, we, and then the final caption is caption Ace's Office 2021. Yeah. Or a charitable Earth, London, I guess. London 2021. No, 2022. Sorry, it's 2022. Yeah, so in this one, it's year. got. A, who remembers what the fucking year is? So in this one, it's got to be caption, random location, 2021. Yeah. Um, oh, it can, a, be, it can be the Sontarans. It can be the Sontarans when they invaded in the Flux. That happened. I remember now. Um, yes. Yes, they did. There's something to do with the Sontarans. So the Sontarans are in the episode as well. So who can she be talking to in this one? Turlo? Sure. Let's have it be Turlo. Is Turlo on Earth? I think so. He leaves in a planet of fire, doesn't he? I don't remember. It's been years since I've seen Planet of Fire, possibly around the 15 year mark. I don't remember anything about Planet of Fire. God, you must have been like a fetus, right? Um, some, something, you know, small, definitely smaller. Everyone is younger than me. Hang on, Planet of Fire. I'm just going to. It's God, God Almighty, we're going to have to remember so much canon going into this episode. No, we aren't. We'll just... we'll just. No, no, we're not. <laughs> no, you're right, we're not. Um, right, so how does Turlo leave? What does he do? Um, Escaping the destruction of the gas controller. Turlo tells Perry to look after the Doctor. He then parts from the Doctor, thanking them for all he's learned in his travels with them. Because it's set in the 80s. Yeah, he's on Earth. Awesome. All right. So Turlo. Um, yeah, I think... Oh, wait, no. Wait, wait, no. Is he? Is he on Earth? Where is where, where is Planet of Fire set? They flee to a secret... It's on the fire planet, Stuart. Oh, yeah, it's on the fire planet. How does Perry get there, then? I don't know. I, okay. Chat, I, I don't, is I Turlo don't on Earth? Chat, is Turlo on Earth? Just tell us that. But I also think it's kind of just something that could happen, that he gets to Earth and he's just on Earth now and it's never oh, explained. People in chat are telling me that he goes back to his home, back to his home planet. Uh, 
Um, yeah, yes, in the chat, we do know that the release date is the 23rd of October for Power of the Doctor. We're probably uh, not going to finish this before then. Allegedly. Allegedly. Uh, right. People are saying he goes back to Tryon. No, he's not on Earth. Should we have it be Mel? Please, let's just no, have it be we Mel. Know that Mel is the only companion that we know probably isn't in it. But I like Mel. <laughs> but that, she's going to be in the good one, then. Be happy. <laughs> true um okay okay people are saying okay should we just make it turlo and say that he's on earth now for some reason what if it's um what if it's ian what if they're like in mm. like a living room somewhere um they're like in i guess ian's living room and the sontarans are marching through the streets and um ace is like defending ian from the Sontarans, while they have a conversation about, hey, Ian, have you seen the Doctor lately? And he's like, no. <laughs> that would be the most disrespectful. <laughs> I think that... that would be the most dis- <laughs> I, can we do that, please? <laughs> William Russell is 97 years old. Are you really going to stick him inside of a... An action scene. Well, we can have it be so that he's just like sitting on the settee as Ace is like defending <laughs> the the house from Sontarans. Um. Okay, uh, so London. Or like, or like, we can just have like it, it's not even explained, right? There's two Sontarans have broken into the house, and we cut to the scene as Ace like whacks them in the back of the neck and knocks them out, and then she has okay, a conversation right. with Ian. Okay, um okay, we can't have two scenes set in London um in a row. So where does Ian live? Um the Cotswolds. The okay, caption the Cotswolds twenty twenty one. Okay, in the middle of an action scene. <laughs> hang on. A Sontaran uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. A Sontaran breaks down a door. Yeah. He is a scary mother. <laughs> <laughs> I think we, we became like a, a Sontaran with character. He's like licking his lips and he's going, where are you, human? He licks his lips <laughs> and slowly walks down the corridor. Character Sontaran Oh, can there be two of them? Yeah. And then, oh. then, then you Ace and this. Ian each have a walk. Hey, uh, hang on. Right, uh, okay, okay, okay. A second Centauran follows him, and and they both like they both like just step out from a doorway behind the Centaurans and hit them in the back of Ace the neck. Ace and Ian step out from behind the Sontarans, both brandishing walks. <laughs> Ace and Ian then approach the Sontarans and hit and hit them in their probic vents. Perfect. Um we've they, got but the Sontarans Tarans fall on the floor or screaming. Uh, cut to, ha, hang on, cut to Ace and Ian sitting on the sofa together. Can we, can we have can we have Drink, Ian just say drinking. like nice job, Ace? Yeah, uh, yeah, hang on, drinking tea while the Sontaran's dead bodies are melting into goo. Um so I think I think we need to transition getting, to the I'm cut getting, with like a I'm line of dialogue. All the references in here. Uh, okay, okay. And the line, the line of dialogue. So like, say, uh, n- n- good one, Ace, or whatever I just said that he says. Uh, and he <laughs> says, "But what was it that you wanted to talk about?" <laughs> um. Right. Okay. Um. Right, Ian. Good one, Ace. So, what was it you wanted to talk about? Um, 
and we cut to, cut to them with tea as you Some as you, tea as you with the dead bodies on the floor as suggested um, and then so does Ian or Ace open this bit uh, I I think Ace is saying so I need to know um, when's the last time you have you seen the doctor at all recently have you seen the doctor at all recently Ian, well, the last time I saw the Doctor was 1966. So so that's a no, I'm afraid. Yeah. And then we cut and we don't see him again. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, okay, and then just Ace looks sad. Yeah, yeah. Right, so then we cut and it's 2022. So yeah. oh, is that what is that what we're doing? We're um, cut to London 2022, Ace's office. Ace is looking at some sort of application showing documents from a charitable earth. Her phone buzzes, she looks at it, she fires a brown, says, I've, it's got to be you this time. Yeah. She's a notification on her app. It's so a scan of the earth, the blinking signatures from a time lord. She gets her bomber jacket with Ace written on the back. She ponders on it and decides not to wear it and puts it in her bag. Yes. You're happy with that? I'm okay, happy with good. that. Okay, and then she has this conversation with Tegan on the stairwell. Uh, okay. I'm... <laughs> See, this is the thing. I like those scenes. You like the scenes that we've just put in? Yes, I like the scenes that we've just put in. And the point of this is to be terrible. <laughs> I mean, there are bad things about them, but the thing is that those scenes could be, like, fine um, in establishing a story where we then come back to the characters that were in them, but th we're not going to. The last the last um, appearance of Ian in Doctor Who will be him saying, no, I've not seen the Doctor in a while, sorry, and then that will be it. Oh, God. William Russell is 97 years old. We should not be making him do this. We're not making him do this. This is pretend. <laughs> no, we are making him do this. The point of this is we're going to actually shoot this properly. Could, imagine that was the twist. Um, imagine that the was twist the was twist. this is the script they will air. This is the script. That, this is the script they will air. The, the point of this, you, you said last time when I plugged my crowdfunder, which I'm going to, which I'm going to surreptitiously slip into the conversation here. You said last time that you were going to start a crowdfunder so that we can hire all the actors and shoot this for real. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I did. Um, that's what. That's what happened. Why not? While you're at it, why not donate to my crowdfunder for my short film? The link is in the description. You can get a ton of perks. From my, if you um, donate to my crowdfunder today to help me bring my short film to life, you can get a digital copy of the film. You can get your name in the credits. You can get a, an ebook of my writing, or there's an option where I will write something for you if you give me seventy quid for it, and I'll try and make it good. Well, what if they ask you to make it shit? Oh, they ask me to make it shit. I'll I'll just do whatever. I'm a whore. <laughs> Okay, so Ace and okay, so back to the script. Ace and Tegan are on the stairwell talking about. Ace is saying that it's probably the Doctor, and Ace is going, "I haven't heard from the Doctor in over four decades." And yet, this surprisingly works quite well, actually, considering the last two scenes are showing like Ace just desperately looking for the Doctor. I mean, thematically, we're actually setting something up here, and that the Doctor just leaves people behind, and then they don't hear from her again, which like. You know, showing com previous companions in cameos if is kind of an effective way to do that, I guess. But, well, let's... Which is why we're not doing a very good job of imitating Chris Chibnall. I mean, that's, that's we are imitating... Stuff that works we are imitating... Well. I, liked, I unironically like the bit in It Takes You Away where Graham has a sandwich because of how long he's been travelling with the Doctor. Hmm. Anyway. Okay, so then we cut to Unit... Um, Kate Stewart's office, Osgood sees the signal, uh, she marches in, Kate Stewart has already got people on it, trying to find the exact location. Uh, there's no Archeron energy signatures, we're not detecting a TARDIS, but if it's not the Doctor, it could be, that's what we're worried about. Uh, right, so, 
and it cuts to an air co- a helicopter taking off. Uh, caption Sicily, present day. This is when we sit, have the master on the beach. And he starts shrinking people at random. Yeah. Wait, so you said when the do- when, you said that when the master gets arrested, he's got long hair and a beard. No, when he gets arrested, he's got short hair and no beard uh, in, the, in the promo picture we've seen. Okay, so in this bit, the master has got short hair and no beard. So are we saying that when but he... after the thing he... Is, he definitely does... He's definitely got to have long hair and a beard in the um, in the part where he breaks out of the unit base. So I don't know. Hang on. Maybe we just Wait. involve unit later in the story as well, and he gets arrested again. Or maybe he's just locked up in unit for years. Or he's just locked up in Sicily for years, and they've only just found him. That would. That would make that would mean we'd have to redraft a lot. No, I th- I okay, think, I can't. I, I can't. I, okay, stuff. I. No, I don't think we'd draft that stuff either. I can't be bothered, and Chris Jebner wouldn't either. So, right, caption Sicily fly over shot the beach. This is the master um, starting shooting people for no reason. Yeah, I think he gets long hair later. Um, okay, uh, the TARDIS wait, wait, crew no, arrives we, we, on we the beach. We already said he has long hair now. Um, which would be no, he's... no, we did, no, we didn't, we didn't, no, we didn't note that. Oh, all right, is that okay? Not in, it's not in the draft anywhere. Fair enough. So yes, the TARDIS materializes nearby beach. This is where the coordinates were. Um, it's him. You don't mean the master? But how? I thought Koshamas used the death particle on Califrey. <laughs> I don't know why, but that line just floors me. You don't mean it's the master, but how oh, I thought Koshamas used the death particle I, on Gallifrey. I finished my water and I have to go and do a pee. Can you continue the 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 go through of the script while I am doing the pee? Okay, I'll okay, I'll continue going thank, doing thank the go you. through the script. Okay, he survived. He always survives when I lose everything. Who's this master fella? He's a time lord like me. Where I'm happy to see the universe, he wants it to see it burn. But what does he want? Destruction. Are you going to take him on? I mean, I know you will, but he's dangerous. I know. I don't want to lose you. I've got to do this. I'm going to be surprised if we don't get most of this right. Gosh, the master's at a police station. He's taking a mug shot. Um, he plays with this policeman a little bit. Um... So, you killed three people at the beach. Why? Why does anyone do anything? Why? Maybe I want attention. Maybe I want the attention of someone in particular. Uh, The door opens and units take the master off of the Sicilian police's hands. Uh, Right, so Osgood and the Doctor meet up again. Oh, look. Kate Stewart. Always Always a great face to see. We've got a problem. That man in there. Don't know if you know. He's the master. We suspected. We found his tissue decompression device. She holds up the umbrella. Do you know anything else? Why is he here? Why now? What does he want? You can ask him if you like. (laughs) Okay, so Doctor and the Master... Okay, okay, so we cut away from the Doctor and the Master leaving Sicily on a helicopter... So then we're back with Ace and Tegan. Um, so Ace, Ace has somehow got Tegan involved in this whole signal that she's found, which she doesn't know is the master yet. Uh, right, cut to Ace and Tegan driving. Yes. Tegan sighs and looks out the window as the street flashes past. We hear echoes of lines from Resurrection of the Daleks, including I can't stand the confusion in my mind, and Dalek lines from Resurrection redone by Nicholas Briggs. <laughs> She sighs and looks across at Ace. What are you going to say if it's him? That's not Australian. <laughs> what are you going to say if it's him? That's not bad. I, I don't. I mean, it is, but you know, it's better than I was expecting. Ace, you... <laughs> Sorry for that Ace, incredibly you're going to need to get... Oh, Ace, you're going to need to get back to your life eventually. Yeah, I, yeah, I can actually do an Australian accent, it seems. No, it wasn't bad. Ace, you're going gonna... to you're gonna need to get back to your life eventually. Not if it's the Doctor. If it's the Doctor, we can go on as many adventures as we want and be back on the same day. And then she looks back at the... We have kind of made her a child, haven't we? Big kid. 
I mean, she was a child pretty much when she was in the show, and I don't think that Chris will have made her grow up much. No, I don't either. Um, okay, so they stop. Okay, so Ace sees some commotion going on. Do we want to make these sort of big peop big people with robot voices actual Cybermen, but like with hoodies? Nah. So they're like Cybermen, but in they, disguise. They should have like a, they should have like Doctor Who loves to do, and this isn't specific to the Chibnall era. It loves to do crap little things that indicate when a person has been uh, taken over by an enemy, like. The worst offender, I think, is the uh, Dalek eye stalks growing out of the forehead for no fucking reason in the Moffat era. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I think we should have like, so, a, yeah, something they're like just, that. With, like, they're, a, just sort of, they're just sort of possessed by Cybermen or something like that. Yeah, maybe they've got like a metal thing on the side of their face or something like that. Okay, so uh, what on earth? Look at the back of the van. They... Uh, what have I put here? So so they beat these robot people up. They see static electricity coming out of their heads. Tegan says, what on earth? They look at the back of the van. Tegan approaches the dead body of the small man. She does a think face. What do I mean when I wrote she does a think face? I, I guess she's, she's thinking. <laughs> Thoughts of Adric fill her mind. Because he's dead. <laughs> Because they are like Cybermen, and he died in a Cybermen story. And the fact that the man is dead is reminding her of how <laughs> Adric is dead. <laughs> man is dead is reminding him of how Adric is dead. I like how I've explained all of it. Right, Ace picks up a blaster gun, puts it in her pocket. This could come in handy. That's probably never going to come back again. So Ace drives the big heavy vehicle and says Ace. Right, this is where we were up to last time. Um, an hour in. Right, in the helicopter, the Master and the Doctor have this conversation where nothing gets said. They just sort of taunt each other. Yeah. And she goes, what's your plan? Wouldn't you like to know? Yes, I would. Maybe you'll find your past catching up with you. Is that is that everything Doctor that we've got? Um, oh, no, is it carry on from there? Uh, no, it just goes, the Doctor turns back and walks back to the bench and sits down, glowering at him moodily. And then it cuts to another room in the helicopter where Dan is sat next to a soldier who's wearing dark glasses and has a stony face. So, how'd you get into being a soldier, like? And the soldier is silent and pretends he hasn't heard him. Can we, can That's we rearrange? as far as we got. Can we rearrange okay, this? So, it's an um, establishing shot of the helicopters, like, travelling through the sky. Then, we have, okay. the, and you then want... we have the Dan bit, and then we have the Master bit. Um, and then we okay, extend the okay. Master conversation, because the scene feels a bit too pointless right now, honestly. <laughs> Isn't that always the way, though? Uh, hang on, EXT, Sky... Sunset. I'm going to make it sunset because I like orange colours and I'm thinking someone, cinematically. Someone uh, the, in the chat has referenced my parody. They've said, oh no, that man is dead. That reminds me of my dead Adric. <laughs> Do you have any dead Adrics? <laughs> Cut to another... Um, okay, helicopter room. Uh, so he does that. Uh, cut to another room in the helicopter. I the, the next part of the Master Doctor conversation should be uh, addressing the events of the previous story. Okay, right. The Master is in a straitjacket. The Doctor is sitting opposite the Master and looking at him broodingly. The Master, well, aren't you going to say anything, or are you just going to brood? What do you want? What do I always want? What's your plan? You show up on a beach somewhere and start killing people at random. Maybe I just wanted to kill some people. Maybe they were annoying me. British tourists are very annoying. They just sort of get under your skin, don't they? The doctor closes in on him and looks him right in the eye. What's your plan? Wouldn't you like to know? Yes, I would. Maybe you'll find your past catching up with you. Okay, okay, what Okay, what do you want to do with this, then? Um, what, if we, what if we now cram in a load of references? My past, <laughs> what do you mean? And then just name things from the past. Like, like, do you mean... Um, 
Oh, I don't know. Or, or what if she the just? What if she just angrily shouts, on? "Tell me," and he says, "No." <laughs> What's catching up with me? Is it the Crotons? <laughs> the Doctor. Tell me. <laughs> the Master. I could... Uh, hang on. Um... Because this is a bit where she gets angry. She um, breathes heavily and calms down. <laughs> what do you mean? I could mean anything, couldn't I? Yeah, that's this is, this is how it, this is how it would go. Um... Brewster. <laughs> um. Omega, the Black Guardian, the Toy Maker, could be all manner of things, really. I'm not sure about the list. Oh. I think it, I think it'd be more more along the lines of things like um, bigger scale concepts, like um, and like, I, I like you've made a lot of enemies. The Daleks, the Cybermen. You've been to a lot of places. Uh, I, mean, I, I don't think we need the list. I think the list is too much. I don't think that he would have the list in here. <laughs> okay, okay, the list. Okay, so... You've made a lot of enemies, been to a lot of places. Yeah. Mm. Um, so I've done a lot of things. Um, hmm. I mean, he, I, I know he can say, uh, I was there for, I, he can say that he was there for a lot of them, a lot of the things that she's done. And then he can use that to segue into like talking about, did you think I was dead? How did that feel? And then they can talk about the, um, the, the events of the previous episode. And the, the reason I think they need to do that is because they need to talk about something. Um, what if the, so what if got, the first time the, the doctor, master, the master, what if the doctor asks the master, "What's your plan?" and he says, "I've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty." <laughs> no, because I've. So what? What are we doing? The master, the master wants to get to unit. He wants to get inside the black archive so that he can get a thing, so that he can get the, the side men to come to Earth and start converting the human race or something. Yeah, that works. Fuck it. <laughs> okay. But I think in the meantime, I think that his his plan <clears throat> his plan falls apart when Ashard is still alive and Ashard doesn't like him and takes control of some of his Cybermen. So it's a big cyber war type thing. That's what we're building towards. Uh, yeah, I guess. The thing is, a lot of the episode doesn't take place on Earth. Um, Vel, Vel and Binder. <laughs> Vel and Binder. That's their names they? now. Yeah. Well, we were just going to have them show up at the end and say, we're about to go and have our child, and they open a portal and the planet behind them is purple. That would be funny. But that, I don't that, think they just need to show up at the end for that. that. That's what we said they were... 
Maybe they crash land on Earth for some reason, and well, no, Bell is about to give birth. We see them. The, the, the scene in the trailer that we see them is um, like outside the TARDIS. So I suspect the Doctor is going to go like pick them up for help or something like that. But why does the Doctor pick them up for help? Um, deal dealing with the Master. Master bad. <laughs> um. Okay. Um. Because, like, what are Belle's special skills? Maybe she's a master interrogator or something. Maybe. Why not? All right. Um, because we've just... We've established... How did, how did they leave in the Vanquishers again? I can't remember. Um, they... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay, I'm, chat, I'm tell us I'm how... I'm currently watching the trailer to make sure we haven't missed any details that are important. Okay, chat. T tell us how. Um, tell us how Bell and Vinda left in the Vanquishers, because neither of us can remember. Well, we couldn't remember how Turlo left either. You know, maybe we're not real Doctor Who fans. Y yeah, we're d we're definitely not. Oh, the fucking <laughs> someone, the master has short hair someone, in a church. I don't. Why is he in a church? Just says, Someone just said her special skills are that she can get pregnant. <laughs> that is her entire character. Oh, that and she she destroyed a Cyberman at one point, didn't she? Oh yeah, she's actually a, a very she's actually a really efficient marksman. She's great yeah, at she's not really getting efficient. shots. She's great at not getting shots, yeah, so Oh wait, Carvanista's in it, isn't he? Is he? I'm not sure. I think he's in it. I, I think that he brings Bell and Vinda to Earth. Wait, because Earth is the only planet left now after the flux destroyed everything, isn't it? I don't. I think that that's being ignored because they were at a different. They were on a different planet in Eve of the Daleks. So. Oh, that's true. Okay, so they just show up. I think. <laughs> Oh, and sure. she has the digipet thing. Okay, so uh, okay, so back to the, back to this scene then. Um, did you think I was dead? I hoped you were dead. Oh, come on, you don't mean that. Is she gonna? I think she is gonna say. It. You know, I think actually, yeah, maybe she's edgy enough to say that. What? I think she's edgy enough to say that. Yeah, I hoped you were dead. Yeah, I think she's edgy enough to say that. Um, so, what does the doctor say now then? How do how do we end this scene because it's horrible? I don't know. I think we just I think we just let it meander on. Um, <laughs> I think that I think that she goes sort of. Uh, well, I, I don't. This scene is fucking horrible. Like, and that's the thing. It's the sort of scene that I can see them doing. So she says something like, "I don't know. I don't wish." I don't, I don't want bad things to happen to anyone. But with you gone, that means a lot more people are safe. Okay, that's three lines, and we're on to page twenty-two. So I'm calling that a win. Excellent. Um, okay. So Okay, so what do we, uh, can we leave this scene because I hate it? <laughs> we need we need a a, um, a a snappy ending for it. Oh, what what if no? What if um what if we just cut to we're here? Oh no, we're not even cut to like you know. Um, oh, Kate Stewart comes in and says we're here. Or like yeah, I think it would be I'm like a, ran, a, ran, a nameless a nameless unit soldier rather than Kate Stewart because we don't want to give her two right, okay. lines for one thing. She's flying the helicopter. <laughs> Why not? Should we bring yeah, back I'm the Cyber that, Brigadier yeah. this episode? Yes, we should. Because we've got to be as we've got to be as tasteless as possible. Soldier, we're here. Cut to EXT Helipad. Kate Stewart. Hang on. Kate Stewart is piloting the helicopter and lands it. 
Uh, right, so cut to soldiers escorting the doctor, Yaz. Um, who else is there? Dan is there as well. Kate Stewart, Osgood. And the master in his straight jacket. He actually, in the promo pictures, isn't wearing a straight jacket, so I think we need to change that for accuracy. Okay. Story. He's being arrested just okay. in handcuffs in his, like, in his civvies, in his normal human clothes. Can I give him a Hannibal Lecter mask? He's not wearing it in the promo image, I'm afraid. Oh, damn it. Hang on, so I'm going to have to remove the straight jacket. The master is... I'm just going to have to put chained up. Okay. Let me have a look at the um, at the promo image to see what he's um, he's restrained with. Please tell me that he. Please tell me that he has a Hannibal Lecter mask. I mean, I can I can remember that he doesn't have one of those. Um, Just lie to me, Jay. Come <laughs> on. Uh, he is he is handcuffed in front of his um, belly, and there's a unit soldier. There are two unit soldiers handling him. Oh no! Wait. They're not unit soldiers. I don't know what soldiers they are. They've got... Um... Well, they're soldiers of some description. Yeah, they could be... Too... I mean, I can show you the image. It's uh, here. Oh, yeah. These could be the Sicilian police... Far as we yeah, know. they could be the Sicilian police. Yeah, I, I think they are. All right, so um, now we cut to them in unit for some reason. Oh wait, don't Ace and Tegan arrive yet? Or are they, they're off chasing that signal, aren't they? I think do I think Ace and Tegan. I don't know. I think maybe they maybe they come to unit first. Um, because um they've they've actually because we ha the idea that we came up with in the last stream was that there are a bunch of like portals all across earth that lead to this cyberman spaceship yeah 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 i'm happy with that or at least you know they don't necessarily have to be loads of them but there's some or one at least at least one but um i think that ace and t can go straight to unit because that they're following the time lord signature yeah, that's true, yes, true. Okay, so they go straight to um, unit. So how do they run into the Doctor? So do it, is the next scene the big reunion scene? I guess so. I guess... Um, I, I, I guess we get to... Um, yeah, we get to unit headquarters. Uh... Should we have a scene? Okay. Should we have a scene between like the doctor and um, Kate while they're walking into unit, where the doctor's like, "So what do we do?" And Kate's like, "There's nothing we can do other than be alert. We've got him under. We've got him captured, and that's all we can. All we can do is keep an eye on him." Well, as they are escorted into the unit building. What do we do? <laughs> Bloody hell. Bless you. There you go. So, yeah, we've just got to keep an eye on him and see what he does. Right, and so, then I'm thinking about I'm thinking just uh, I'm um, thinking just. I think I think they get in I think they get into like the main unit room and then Ace and Tegan are there and the Doctor is uh, and they have their reuniting scene. Okay, so they ent uh, they're entering a building, right? Okay, hang on. Should we give Yaz a line in that previous scene as well? Okay, okay. What does Yaz say? <laughs> Um, yes. You mean you're not going to do anything? 
And then she can, and then Kate Stewart can be like, there's nothing we can do, I guess. Right. Can't you give him like thumb screws or something? <laughs> Is that is it Dan saying that? Because I would believe that more from Dan than yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've I've forgotten Dan. I didn't put Dan was being escorted with them. Cause like, oh. oh no, I have I have put Dan. I just forget he's in this. I'm like thumb screws or something. Make him talk. Do you think he would say that? Um, no. The, yeah, yes, because that means that. Ha hang on. Um, so the doctor can berate Dan for having violent thoughts, despite the fact sure. the doctor said something explicitly violent earlier. Yeah, the doctor can say, uh, you know, Dan, there are some lines we just don't cross. Yes. And then he can just be like, and he can, you know, he can be like sort of taken aback. He's like, oh, all right, I was only saying... And then they go into the room that has uh, have Tegan, have Tegan and Ace in it. Right. Um. And well, Ace and Tegan they they can't know who she is at first, can they? Um. Are we going to acknowledge that? Well, no, because they, because we're, we're we're under this assumption here that they're just going to walk into a room, see Ace and Tegan, and it's going to be like, oh my god, the Doctor, it's you. But they won't know who she is at the moment, will they? I guess, I, I guess not. I guess, um, I guess we can, yeah. We, they they, they walk into so the, the room. Doc, the, doctor, the Doctor is like, doc oh my god, she's she oh goes. Oh my god! I think she stops. She scrunches her face in a surprise, you know, as she does. Um, yes. A. a, a she, um, and then she says, Ace, Tegan, I've not seen you in three and four decades, respectively. Yes. <laughs> um, ha hang on. So the do so Ace and Tegan are by the front desk. Um, they're trying to show... They're trying to show the person on the front desk the Time Lord signature on Ace's phone. I, I assumed that she could only see that because she'd like hacked into unit um, and knew about it. And also, All they, right. so they know so that they know that the time lord signature has come here now, so that the and they know that like the the master has been captured by unit. Well, not that it's the master, but uh, yeah. So what? So why are they there then? They're are they just sort of standing there? I think they are just sort of standing there. <laughs> I think it's, okay, it's ambiguous doctor's... what they were doing before the doctor entered the room. Okay. <laughs> okay, the doctor's face lights up when she sees them. Yes, we've got. We have. Uh... I think then, you know what um, I think she's... it should be. I think you know what I think it should be, right? I think it should be um... Ace Tegan. What are you doing here? And Tegan says, "What? Who are you?" And Ace sort of goes, get... oh, "Don't you see? Nothing. It's the doctor, aren't you, doctor? It's you." Oh, okay, 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 so. You've regenerated Ace. into a woman. <laughs> Ace and Tegan are both taken aback. Oh, no, Tegan is taken... No, T. Okay, so we're saying that Tegan is taken aback. Oh, Tegan doesn't realise that Sarah and Ace does. Someone suggested that the Doctor ask Ace which of their endings is canon. <laughs> Hang on. Ah, fuck. No. Uh, 
Um, so Ace runs up to the Doctor and hugs her. I th I think is, is that really second what she does? Or she hits her with the baseball bat. <laughs> uh, surely we've got to get. Surely this is where the wicked goes. Is what I is what I've got. What I'm thinking. Yeah. Because we did agree that it would be wicked when uh, Ace met thirteen. You're a woman. Wicked. Can, uh, is oh, it going to be that? Is saying, it gonna be that overt? Uh, can it be like you're the doctor, aren't you? Wicked, right? Like, is that? I think you're a woman is a bit too cringe. <laughs> no, it's not. It's really just. It's really not. It is the all kind right, of dialogue right, they would write. It is the kind of dialogue they would write. Okay, you're the doctor. Wicked. You're the doctor. Aren't you? Someone said. Someone said. Someone in chat suggested you're a woman. This is totally poggers. <laughs> okay, you are right that Chris would write her as if she's still a child. I don't think she. I don't think he'd go that far. I don't think he would. No. But okay. it's fun to you're acknowledge the, the idea. You're the doctor. Wicked. Well, that's the thing because the whole the, the whole um, arc of Ace over the, the course of the first act has been her desperately trying to find the Doctor. So I think she would hug her. Um, sure, sure. Um, and then we can have Tegan say, you know, Doctor, is it really you? And then I think the next line comes from Yaz saying, "Who, who, are th Doctor? Who are these two? Or you know, or just who? Who are you? I think she. I think she would address it to them. I think it'd be, who are you guys, or whatever. Who are you? Yeah, just who are you? And then the doctor would introduce Ace and Tegan to Yaz. Okay, the doctor pulls away. Someone type something funny in chat, please. Uh, the doctor, this is Yaz and Dan. Oh, wait, you, Dan. wait, did you say that Ace was going to ask? Wait, I meant, I meant Yaz was going to ask who... Or do you mean... Or do you mean that the Doctor... Hang on. As, the scene as I understand it now is that Yaz asks who Ace and Tegan are and the Doctor then introduces them. Yeah, that's what I've got. I've All got right. uh, Ace, this is Yaz and Dan. Yaz and Dan, this is Ace and Tegan. And then I think she would give like a brief sort of... We used to travel together. Um, when... A long time ago. Faces back. Faces back? Yeah, like years back, but like with faces because it was a lot of faces ago. Oh, yeah. Years back. Well, face, faces back. I don't understand. And that's when Tegan explodes. Is it what's Tegan exploding about? Well, she's got to explode about something because she's the mouth on legs, isn't she? Yeah, and I agree that, like, like tone-wise, it feels like about the appropriate time for her to explode. But can she be? Can she be like the voice of like, not even a phone call, Doctor? Is that her? Um. Yeah. Is that, uh, yes, gonna, yes, yes. Are we just going to not mention Nissa this whole episode? No, we're not. What if, what if the, what if, um, if, if when the doctor sees Tegan, she says, oh, Tegan, how's Nissa? And Tegan just says she's dead. 
Yeah, yeah. Hang on. There is a moment no, of tension do where that. you don't. Hang on. There is a moment of tension where you don't know how. How Tegan is going to react. Tegan then scrunches up her face and screams. Or so it, she's angry, right? Not not necessarily a scream. No, not a, and is like angry. A, sh a shout, a shout rather than a sort of a what the hell, doctor? Rather than a what the hell? Not even a phone call. Or uh, can we get an eighties reference in? Remember. Remember. <laughs> Space hoppers. <laughs> um, how do people used to communicate in the eighties? Um, I don't know. I wasn't. I wasn't there. Oh, someone just put in the chat. Um, will she be angry that the last time she that Tegan appeared with the Doctor, he was the Sixth Doctor with Jimmy Savile? <laughs> She's angry that you... Oh, Doctor, why did you introduce me to Jimmy Savile? Yes, because canonically, that is Tegan's last appearance. I, do, I think that we're ignoring that. If we're ignoring well, all the in, big finish, we're the, definitely ignoring that. In the, main, in the main show. I mean, not canonically in terms of big finish, of course, but yeah, in the main show, that's the last. Yeah. Um, so, but I... I <laughs> Someone's, like, just suggesting, someone's just suggesting that we just have Tegan start asking questions about canon, like, what about the Watcher in Legopolis? How was he the Doctor all along? <laughs> doctor, what, if, what about season 6B? <laughs> oh, uh, James Fitzgerald has just suggested, not even a fax? <laughs> I'm, putting the, I'm putting that in. A fax? What, what, I mean, like, what, why didn't you call me? What's the current line? What's the current line that Tegan says? Not even a phone call. I think that's a good line for her. I'll take out the, the facts because that's just a piss take. The doctor can be like, what? And then Tegan can say, I thought, I thought you'd visit. I thought you'd come check in. But you didn't even phone, doctor. It's been... 40 years and I've not been able to look at celery the same ever since <laughs> I've not been able to look at celery the same ever since are we putting that in? no we're not putting that in I don't think that's something that Chris would write I don't think it is and then uh, that's when Yaz goes, wait, Doctor, you knew these people and and you never checked up on them. And then what but, if... Uh, she'll, well, she'll I've been me, busy. I've been busy and I'm busy now. We need to deal with the master. And then both, of, both Tegan and Ace in unison can go, the master? And then is that how this scene cuts and then we see the master who's like locked in a cell and he's doing like mad faces towards the security camera? Yeah, and do we have like um, Ace, Tegan and the Doctor go and see him? Yeah, okay. Um, in or, or just cell. Ace and Tegan go and see him, I think, maybe. Uh, yeah, and Ace is like, you made me into a cat. Because <laughs> that's what happened in Survival. Oh yeah, um, and Tegan can say, um, when you did, tried when to make Tegan... me really small. <laughs> okay, we're outside the cell. You wore, you wore a racist, racist. cosplay. <laughs> Amra Feed being played to the guards. The master is in his cell, making mad faces at the camera. That's yeah. That's 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 good. 
the Doctor, Ace, Dan, Yaz, and Tegan enter. Um, Kate, Kate Stewart is there. Hang on there. Are we going to give her any lines? <laughs> Maybe just sort of like a yes or a okay or no. Hang on. Can we talk to him? Ah, right, so ha hang on. So we get um, Ace and Tegan and the Doctor talking to the Master. Then the Master says, maybe I'm where I... M maybe I'm where I needed to be all along. And that's when the Cybermen start breaking into unit. I think we need, we need like, a scene of them reuniting first, right? Of, like, a... Yeah, this him, is... The, him, this, this, like, that, him, like, that, being that, like, oh, there's some faces that, I've not seen in a long time. That's what that that's what I'm saying. This scene is where they reunite, and then and he goes, "Oh, there's some faces I haven't seen in a long time." And that and at the end of this scene, where this scene breaks, it's him saying, "Maybe I'm where I needed to be all along." And that's when the side men break into unit. Um, do we have do we have them break in, or do we have like a warning that they're coming first? Do they get detected before they break in? Yeah, there's like, like a scene of them like there's like there's like a scene of like um. Ooh, how about we cut to like a random unit soldier who's on a phone, who's on his phone to his wife who's pregnant in in the hospital about to give birth, and he says, "I'll be right there," and then the Cyberman electrocutes him. I really, for some reason, the, when you said a unit soldier on the phone, what I pictured. Have you seen the so no head vine? No, I haven't, because I'm um, not a young person anymore. It's a clip of just, it's, you know, no context for this. It's just the clip I am about to describe on its own. Guy on the phone with a skateboard um, says, talking into the phone says, so no head, throws the phone on the ground really hard so it breaks, and then puts this, and then stamps on the skateboard, breaking it in half. I was picturing that, but with, like, the unit soldier being like, the Cybermen are coming? And I kind of really liked it. <laughs> uh, so he just, just go, does he just like look at that and go, oh, the Cybermen? We've got to get at least one. Oh, oh Vin, I don't know. This, I think I think the Doctor goes and picks up uh, Bell and Vinda and takes them to Earth. You know, based on what I'm seeing here. Yeah, I think, I Vinda, think that as well. Yeah, Vinda stepping out of the TARDIS with some like fairly normal looking curtains behind it so on on the hang on on the subject of cybermen storming in does ace still have the blaster she took yeah she took a blaster so that's like a callback or something yeah but um she, in the trailer we see her using like unit Thank machine you for guns a fiver. oh yeah true yeah well, all right maybe it doesn't matter maybe it's just maybe it was just a maybe it was just a random throwaway line i think it's just a random well that was what we, we we agreed on last time was that it wasn't going to come up again <laughs> Yeah, which which is funnier. Yeah. Um, hang on, I, uh, hang on. Before uh, before I do that, I want to write this scene of the unit soldier. Hang on. Outside the unit building. Day. A unit soldier is out the back of the building, guarding it with a gun. He gets a phone call. He answers it. Cut to. So we, have we finished with the scene between um, Ace Tegan and the? No, Master I just want to write. I I want to write this before it goes before it falls out of my head, just because I like it. Okay, okay, okay. In hospital. Um. The soldier's wife. Is being wheeled into down to a theatre. She is pregnant. I don't think. Do we see? Do we see the wife? Because like the way they did it in Woman Who Fell to Earth is you just have this guy on the phone being like, "And your, uh, your lovely grand. Uh, thanks for saying you love true. me. And your lovely grandkids." <laughs> Yeah, true, true. I was trying to make it good. Okay, he gets a phone call, he answers it. 
her character wife on the phone. Come to the hospital, my water's broken. Should it just could it just be his dialogue like the water your water's broken, that's amazing. I'll be right there. <laughs> yeah. An unseen character approaches him with Cybermen feet. Sound effects playing. What? What is that? We see in first person as the Cyberman comes up and electrocutes him. Okay, I just I wanted to put that in there just because I like it for some reason. <laughs> okay, so um right, so we're outside the cell, there is a security camera feed being played to the guards, the master is in his cell making mad faces to the camera, Kate Stewart is there, the doctor Ace, Dan, Yaz, and Tegan enter. Can we talk to him? No, I will deal with it. We're not we we're not gonna have them interact. No, this is the point where Ace goes Ace goes, come on, Doctor, I haven't seen him in over four decades or something like that. Well, well I, I think we should have um, Tegan say to Ace, I never wanted to see him again. I was hoping I'd never see him again. Canonically, um, Ace is called the Jeffrey Beaver's Master Pizza Face. Huh. <coughs> well, hmm. Are we going to so? So are we going to have her called the Dwan Master of Pizza Face then? I don't think so. Part part of me feels that's racist. I mean, I you know I wouldn't be able to tell you what it meant, and my brain would go, "I'm not sure what that means." Could it be no, a racist I thing? I I I don't know either. I can't tell. Chat decide for us. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't think no, because that would require uh, Chris to uh, acknowledge Big Finish. Yeah, that's true. <coughs> no, she doesn't. Okay, so they enter the cell. Wait, so are they, so are they going to talk to the master or not? Yeah, they're going to talk to the master. They enter the cell. All right. Um, so, so the doctor, the doctor just says, "All right, fine. Okay, fine. You're coming in with me." Right. They enter the cell. Yeah. What am I doing? I think I think the first right, line right. of the scene needs to be Tegan, like, sort of under her breath saying to Ace, I never wanted to see... I hoped I'd never see him again. Yeah, that's what I've got in there, yeah. All right. Um, yeah, someone, someone, in no, be, someone in chat pointed out that being... Someone pointed out... Someone in chat pointed out that being accidentally racist would be pretty authentic um, Chibnall scripting. That is true, Yes. What, so are we saying that, um, so are we saying that Ace calls him Pizza Face? Well, no, because it would still um, be, that would still be acknowledgement of Big Finish. Oh, yeah, true. No, they can't do that. Uh, they can't do that, no. Um, I think right, we, so the end we, we could, um, we could even have, like, T Tegan ask about, like, Ace's experience with the mask. Like, have you met him? And she's like, yeah, once. And then instantly decanonize, like, ten Big Finish stories. <laughs> All right, so I'm going back to this. All right, I'm just I'm taking this scene back to the back to the start of it. Then, so the Doctor Ace Yaz and Tegan enter. Ace says, "Can we talk to him?" Uh, all right, back to back to the start of the scene, and then T Tegan says, "I was hoping to never see him again." I think what Tegan do they do they even want to talk to him? That's the question. 
Like, what, what do they want to say to him? Does, want to, does Ace want to just be like, you bastard? Yes. You yeah, little... that's what Ace wants to do. You little bitch boy. You, you fucker, you pizza face. <laughs> Hang on, so we're decanonizing about ten big finish stories in like two lines, right? Yeah, I think that. I mean, that's that's that seems about part of the course, right? Um, so what are we doing? So, uh, so Tegan so, says I was hoping to never see. Hang was, on. Tegan right, says so, I was hoping to never see him again. Ace says neither I, was I. I Tegan says you've met him, and Ace says yeah once. <laughs> right, you've met him. Yeah, once. He turned me into a cat. I don't think that's what Chris would write. It's what I would write. <laughs> but I don't think it's what Chris would write. I think it's what Chris would write because that's a very that's a very base understanding of what happens in survival. But um I, I think I think he would write something that's supposed to sound a bit like a, you know, to, to try and get across the idea of all oh, this bad blood. <clears throat> like yeah, once it wasn't nice. <laughs> yeah, once it wasn't nice. I don't think that's it. I don't think that's the line. <laughs> yeah, once it it didn't go well. <laughs> I prefer it wasn't nice, but yeah, I prefer you're right. it wasn't nice. But <laughs> if we're trying to, you know be what I'm le You know what I'm leaving it as it wasn't nice. Fair enough. You have, I don't you care. have full leave... power over the script. Yeah, I'm leaving it as it wasn't nice. Okay, so they all enter the cell together. And then the master says something like, Ah, oh, my... Um, congregation. Well, like, what about Hello Children? I don't know, that's the line that's... Ah. What, 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 what's the... Um, what's the... <laughs> The the process behind uh, my congregation. Um, because he's in a church. No, but that's that can't be yet. Like, unit can't have locked him up in a church. No, that, no, he was in a church in in that in that thing though. So yeah, we've got. He's got to get into a church later. He must he's, do. He's got to get into a church somehow. Before um, he grows the long hair, he needs to be in a church. I think that. I think that he gets okay. So he's. In, I think that he's invited the Cybermen to invade Unit, <laughs> so that he can take Unit down because they're Earth's defense. Someone suggested the line of dialogue for him seeing Ace and Tegan should be Ah, the '80s companions. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, hello, children. He sees Ace and Tegan. Ah, oh, the eighties companions. <laughs> Are we gonna go that meta? What if, he's, what if he's like, what if he's sort of like surprised, like, oh, hello. Are you here just for little old me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hello. Are you here just Which, for little old me? I think could be a good like master line for like, but it would need to be delivered in kind of like a reserved way. Which Dewan isn't. That's not how he delivers the the lines. No, it's not Harry. Um, like as in, I don't. I don't think that his master is conceptually horrible. I think he's given a lot of bad, of really bad lines, and the way that he delivers all the lines is sort of like. It could work with different scripts. Okay, I mean, uh, okay, going back to going back to my plot point, my plot point though. So the master is has invited you, invited the Cybermen to take out unit because they are Earth's defense, so that the Cybermen can take over Earth, and he like gets humans into he 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 forms some sort of cult church thing like. Well, oh, this also, is me trying to make it. This you, is me trying to make it good again. This is me, basically me plot, turning it into a silver salva, silver salvation thing. Our current plot is that he um, is there to steal something from the Black Archive. Yeah, that's true, yeah. What yeah. is he stealing? 
I don't... I don't know. I also don't know why he can't just do a full frontal assault on unit if that's what the Cybermen are going to do anyway. Like, why does he need yeah. to be captured to get inside? Yeah, that's true, yes. Maybe the, all right, fine, maybe all right, the, maybe the base can be, like, in a secret location and he's... Yeah, okay. Maybe they've, they've, what, what, where they've locked him up is actually the Black Archive facility and he didn't know where it was, but now he does. Hmm. Okay, okay. Wait, so hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. So, hang on. That can be Kate Stewart's line. What? That can be Kate Stewart's line. This is the Black Archive facility. We've locked him up in the Black Archives facility. Or maybe he's brought something inside, like a little, like a, a thing, like a teleport bracelet or that lets the side men in or I don't know, something like that. It's a t what this thing is a teleport receiver. It lets me bring my friends, and then the side men arrive and kill them. Maybe he's brought a little wife. thing inside which shuts off all of units' power and unlocks all the doors. Yeah, that's it. That's it. You're on the money. So that he can steal the black archive thing. Yeah. You know, I you know what I kind of like as an idea, and I kind of like this unironically, but I kind of want to put it hello? in as well. Hello. Hello. Can you not hear me? Hello? Um, oh, there's something happened. So, my Discord says it's picking up my audio. Okay, I'm seeing a red thing on my stream, so I'm guessing I've lost power to the internet. I can still hear you, so... I'm, 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 I'm saying this out loud for Hello. the stream's benefit. I'm also typing it into Discord chat. Okay, start spamming the chat if you can hear this. Um, but don't spam it too much. <laughs> Hello. It's it's definitely something. It's definitely something with your audio, Stuart. Am I still broadcasting? Oh, now I can't hear you. Now I think. All right, something's happened. I'm going to go check his stream, chat. Apparently it doesn't exist. I can't see it on his channel. That's... Oh, no, there it is. And it's it's ended. The stream... I think he might have ended the stream. He's typing in Discord chat to me now. Hello. Stuart! Where are you? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hello, I um, hear you, and you hear me. That's good. That's how stream needs to work. My stream is still going. I, I see that yours has ended. Are we... Oh, oh shit, fuck. The stream ended, but what does that mean? It means that you're going to have to um, continue more. Do a continue thing. Hang on. Oh, fucking hell. My stream can still hear you, just to be clear. Okay, what have you been doing for the last few minutes while I've been broken? I've been hiding under a blanket, but for most of it I could hear you. Oh, okay. Well, you could just sort of hear me going, blah, fuck. I didn't hear any of that. I just heard all of the, like, can you hear me? Can, oh no, I've broken the internet. Oh no, ah, oh, ah, oh. I heard all of that. Okay, fuck it. I'm just going to, okay, fuck it. I'm going to do a thing, do the thing again where I could just call it part two. So what we've got is is uh, JSG predict uh, power of the Doctor, JSG predict power of the Doctor part two, JSG predict power of the Doctor continued, JSG predict power of the Doctor continued part two. Yeah, that's that's what it is. For simplicity's sake, 
I don't know, maybe this would be really annoying to do, um, depending on the quality of your computer and internet. Um, is if after all of this, you download all of the streams, put them in just one long thing. And just put them thing. together and put them in one long thing. Yeah, that's probably a good idea, actually. Hang on. Someone in chat said, hey, who turned off the stream? Hey, who turned out the lights? That's the one. Okay, no, it's not made for kids. Create broadcast. Create a new live broadcast. Start streaming. Do it, you fucking thing. Okay, there's a green thing on it. Say so, some things, Jay. What I was gonna, what I was saying when um, when everything went um, off, was that there's an idea that I genuinely kind of like unironically. I mean, it's stupid. It's definitely stupid, but good. The stupider, the better. I like it as well. On a, I, gen I genuinely like this on a, a different level, right? Um, you know, how we were <clears throat> we were saying before that the master snuck something into unit that from the inside yes. disables all the powers and locks and stuff. I yes. like the idea that he just had it in his mouth and that he spits it out into his hand and then uses it. Ooh, that's nice. I like that. But so it's not in his anus. <laughs> I mean, surely they check the anus. Yeah, probably they check the anus. All right, it's under his tongue or something like that. Yeah. Okay, so we're outside the... Okay, so, uh, yeah, okay, so we're probably back up and running. Let's just wait a sec so people can find us. Oh, okay, 18 people found us again. So, um, how are you, Jay? I'm full of Christmas cheer. It's not Christmas. You can't tell me what to do. Yes, I can. Have you all found us yet? Uh, I, I didn't expect to be reading the chat message today. I love that they checked his rectum, but not his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I like that too. Um, oh, hang on. I should probably do super chats. I had a few things in the um, previous version. Now, while I'm waiting for people to find us again, I'm going to do the super chats. That makes sense. That's probably a good idea. Hang on. I will block you all from seeing my analytics. My beautiful analytics. Yaz be like, if I can't have the Doctor, no one will. Grabs, si a grabs Ace's Cyberman blaster and shoots the Doctor. I mean, are, are Ace does have, have Ace a gun later in the episode. That could be why she gets it. That's true. Well, she's going to go homicidal on, on the Doctor. Well, she goes homicidal on someone. She's pointing a gun in the TARDIS. Yeah, true. The Master reveals he also recruited the Sontarans by offering them chocolate. He then proceeds to offer the Doctor some chocolate. Why? <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I'm very much not? on board with bringing back the whole chocolates on Tyrants thing because of how stupid it is and how much I hate it. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. We can we can do things. Last time we, we made the, the aliens. Of, hmm? Last time we made the mistake of, of allowing super chat suggestions into the script, and now it is now the script is pay to win. Yeah, essentially, yeah. But I, I like it being pay to win. Uh, what was the... Ha, well, you're the one getting the, the money. <laughs> have the alien sex gas appear from Chibnall's first episode, like the villain guard for Moffat. That, Who were the villain guard again? Of, um, as in, um, in The Empty Child, um, the Doctor mentions having gone to a place called Villain Guard where he destroyed some weapon factories. And in um, oh, yeah. Once Upon a Time... Oh, sorry, on twice twice upon a time, um, they go to Villengard. Oh yeah, so oh yeah, so then um, yeah, we have to get them to meet the uh, torture daily and sex gas. I I don't think we can. Uh, I, 
maybe we could get like a cheeky visual cameo in there of like it floating around in the background of a shot or something, but... Or it could be trapped in like a jar in the Black Archive. Yeah, that's a good idea. I like that, actually. Uh, someone says, make Ian and Wilfred meet, you cowards. I don't think Wilfred is going to be in our thing. I don't think he's going to be in the centenary, so... No. And we're supposed to be trying to make this as... We're supposed to be trying to um, make this as um, accurate as possible. Yeah. You forgot, the, you forgot the most chibnal thing required in this script. You need to wing it like the script is due tomorrow. True, yes. We have been putting too much thought into it so far. Right, right. Okay, so... Hmm. Okay, so uh, I'm assuming everyone's found us by now. Um, everyone that is going to find us. Someone so, says, do 40, 42 the sequel, 43. <laughs> Our last scene, uh, our current scene is, um, is the, is Tegan and Ace talking to the master, right? Yes, uh, yeah, everyone should be able to see the script on my screen now, I'm what, making myself small. What if we have the doctor say, oh sorry, not the what if we have the master say, like, I'm good that you're here, I'm, I wasn't finished with you two yet. Oh, because I've just got um, everyone arriving in the room. Ooh, hello. Are you just are you here here just for little old me? Yeah. Do we have do, so do we? Wrong. I'm just saying. I'm just wondering if a, a master scene here is like a mistake because like a lot of the scenes now have just been like person goes and talks to the master. <laughs> All I'm, right. No, so what's the I... second time? No, it's just the second one, isn't it? Yes. This is the second one. Yeah. Well, uh, okay, just look on my... Okay, shall we do a dramatic reading of the reintroduction scene then? Just to just to try and get us to sure, sure, prod sure. where we go next. Okay, have you got my screen up? Well, I mean, the thing that... I've not. Um, actually, no, I have. Actually, no, I've not. Um, I will in a second. The thing that... Um, fuck. Uh, th well, the thing that we need to do next is we need to have um, the Cybermen invade unit. Now, I don't know if we're doing anything before that... Um, or not. But... Hmm. Um, yeah, that's what that's where we're going. We are, we are putting way too much thought into this. That's a mean, so this... but I'll be honest with you, Stuart. If I'm being genuine for a moment, I think that Chris Chibnall probably did put more than a couple of days of thought into the centenary. <laughs> yeah, probably actually. I am being far too cynical. Um When are we gonna have Graham and Ryan show up? They just show up at the Um towards the end of the episode. Uh, okay, because um Yaz has now got to be taken aback by the fact that the Doctor abandons all of her companions and that she never visits them. Right. And then Yaz has got to say at the end of the episode, and R Ryan and Graham, are you ever going to see them or are you just going to abandon them like you did with Ace and Tegan? And then the uh, yeah, Doctor's good. heart grows two sizes too big and then she goes, okay, fine. And then they go and see Yaz. Uh, they so go and see Ryan and Graham and there's just a scene of Ryan and Gra Ryan sat by the side of like a basketball hoop or something like that, and he says, "Yeah, so I'm, yeah, so I'm working in a warehouse, doing all right now. I've got a few mates, and I've got a decent job, and everything's great." And then the doctor says, "That's good to know, and you you don't miss it, do you?" "No, I don't." Oh, I think I think it was implied oh, at the good. end of Revolution that he was going to go and fight some aliens on Earth. Was he? Uh, yeah, I mean, he gets given the psychic paper and him and Graham go like, oh, there's this weird thing going on in like this place, in this location. We should go check it out, we think, with our psychic paper. And he's like, yeah, 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 let's go do it. That's how, where we leave them off. The implication is they're going to become like a crime-fighting duo. <laughs> see, I don't... I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't see them following up on that at all. I think, the, I think Chris. I think. Because of that. 
I see. Because of that scene in the middle of Revolution of the Daleks where... I'm just thinking of that scene in the middle of Revolution of the Daleks where Ryan and the Doctor basically stop the episode and the Doctor goes, so, how are you? And he says, yeah, I'm doing all right, seeing my mates. Yeah. I think I think it'd be like, yeah, I've got a job in a warehouse and I'm, it's, it's all right and I'm doing good. Also, on the weekends, I fight aliens. <laughs> And it's just that. That's all it is. Just like a five-minute scene of the Doctor and Ryan talking. Well, yeah, because we've got so much else to do. Well, yeah, exactly. But they are in there. Right, so where where are we going next, then? Um, I think I think it's... Is it time for the... Um, is it time for the attack on unit? Yeah, let's do that then. Okay. So, Ooh, hello. Are you here just for little old me, the Doctor? What is your plan? What do you want? I, we can have. Um, we can have. I think the line should be again. Th the master says, "You're just in time for the show." Then uses his little machine. But are we? We've got to have the Ace and Tegan say something to the master, don't we? Do we? No. <laughs> You're going to talk now. What if... What if um, when Ryan arrives back... Um, so um, This is inspired by a chat message, but I've, I've, I've changed some things. What if when we see Ryan again, he rides in on a unicycle? Sure, fuck it, why not? <laughs> I overcame my dyspraxia thanks to you, Doctor. Oh, I'm just imagining, like, I don't know, I'm just imagining, like, um, I, just a scene in the climax of the episode where all hope seems lost, and then there's, like, a moment, <laughs> and then you see just, like, a pair of bicycle wheels um, <laughs> come in, and that's, like, that's, the, that's, that's all you see in the framing, and then, like, Ryan does some, like, bicycle combat and, like, kicks the Cybermen while he's on his bike. I, I just... I'm saying that in my head now. I overcame my dyspraxia thanks to you, Doctor. I mean, in fairness, that's a completely <laughs> legitimate sentence, I guess, but if you were talking to a, a no, doctor, it's, doctor... No, it's not! It's not! That's the point! But if you That's were the point because it sounds I, like it sounds like out of context. It sounds like you're just talking to a doctor. It's like I mean, if you're gonna overcome dyspraxia, I guess it's probably due to a doctor. Um, <laughs> That's the, the this is the thing. This is the thing. It goes back to when I posted my video review of the Ghost Monument about in about 2018 or whenever it came out. When I made fun of the fact I made fun of the fact that Ryan was scared of a ladder. And someone posted a comment on it saying, oh, so we're allowed to make fun of disability now, are we? And I'm just sort of like, I have dyspraxia. <laughs> and my point is, they don't get it. So what you're saying, Stuart, is that you hate the disabled. <laughs> no, my, what I'm saying is, I'm disabled and they don't get it. Right, um... Right, so the master, you're just in time for the show. Um, the doctor looks at him quizzically. Um, and... The master spits something out onto the table. Or I think is it, I think he spits it into his hand. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That's, won't, won't... that's not actually something substantial at all. That was just me going. Wouldn't his I was wouldn't his hands it wouldn't his wouldn't his hands be behind his back because he's handcuffed? No, no, he's uh, in the promo image, he's handcuffed in front of his face. Oh, in front of his face, in front of oh. his chest. Something out into... Oh, right, something out into his hands. It is a small, wet device. <laughs> the doctor... It needs to have a blinking it. light on it. It's got a blinking light on it. That's blue. That's blue. 
Ooh, I, I like. Oh, I like this. Hang on, the master. Go on, touch it. <laughs> I do like that. Um, I, I, is anyone actually going to take the bait? I don't think they would. This doctor would. I don't the think doctor... she would. I think. I think. I think the master would look at them like, "What? No takers? Fine, I'll do it then." What? And then, and then, like, presses a button. And then, um, you know, like all the lights go off, um, all the doors, ex exterior doors open. Yeah. And, no takers. And then, like after after a second of the lights go being off, like the you know the the trope of the red auxiliary lighting comes on. Yep, yep, yep. Hang on, mask. Oh no, no, that, the um, lights can't go off. In the trailer, we see it with the lights on. Okay, so the master leans down and touches it with his nose. But he's got he's got access to his hands. He can move his hands. Like Yeah, but I think it's funnier. It is funnier. I was like I was just gonna say, if he's touching it with his nose, it's because he thinks it's funny, not because he doesn't have access to his hands, but Yeah, I think it's funny, so I think he's going to do it. So yeah, the master leans down and he touches it with his nose. All the lights go off. Wait, so are you saying we can't make the lights go off? Well, we, what we know is that the lights are definitely on for the siege. We could have like Kate Stewart restore power or something halfway through. Yeah, let's do. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, all the lights go off. Uh, the red, the red auxiliary power lighting comes on because that's the trope, right? In units, base, corridors. All the lights go off. All the doors unlock automatically and open. Int cell. The doctor. The master. Do, does the master slip out in the darkness? Uh, no, I think the master is still in the cell. Okay, okay, okay. Just like um, the red auxiliary lighting. I, he's, he's just got like the external. I think his his cell is still sealed, and the tide men are going to have to break him out. Yeah. The red auxiliary lighting comes on, um, and some special locks automatically come on. In the master's cell, because he's like the top security prisoner. Yeah. Because um, he is the top I security think, prisoner. But my, my quality, my, my writing something competently sense is saying that Kate should then go and, um, you know, uh, take action saying, saying basically um, acknowledging the situation going, we've lost power, what's the situation... Um, are the exterior uh, uh, is our, are our security measures holding? And then have another secure uh, unit soldier say, you know, we've lost um, we've lost uh, power to the external door locks or something like that. Now I don't know if that's what they would actually write, but I think that's what the characters would say. Um, so we've lost um, central power. I like um, the. This would mean that Kate runs back out into like the, the, the hub room that we've already seen. And I think In we need the hub room. I think we need a, a, a misjudged line from Ace as well, where she's sort of like excited to be adventuring again and not grasping at all the situation that, that this is yes, a bad totally. thing. Unit soldier at computer. The main locks have held Kate, the doc Mom, the doctor's in there. Wait, what? I've just got I've just got a scene with them in the security centre where Kate Stewart's panicking and she says we've lost central power and unit soldiers at the computer says the main locks have held Mom, but the doctor and her friends are in there. In like the cell? Uh, yeah. Oh are we locking them in the cell with the master? Yeah, that's what I was doing, yeah. I mean, I... Unless you don't want them to. 
I, well, I was picturing it like there was... What I was picturing in, in the scene was, um, like, the master is in, like, a glass cell and they're outside the glass cell talking to him through, like, an air hole or something. Okay, okay. Oh, um, okay, okay, but, uh, okay. The, the reason I'm thinking that they can't be locked in with the master is, um, is that we, we need, um... For the trailer footage, we see that Ace and T can have machine guns and are shooting at what's definitely Cybermen. We also know that Ashad shows up in the like the I like the idea of him I like the idea of him spitting that thing out of his mouth and going, go on, touch it though. Oh, that's a good point. What if he just says that from behind the glass? Um Wait, so he's in a cell and he's behind glass, right? I guess so, yeah. Yeah, could we know... We, Ace and Tegan can't get trapped. That, Or at least if they do get trapped, they need to be like out within like a couple of minutes. Okay, security... Hang on, security center. The doctor could they potentially get trapped. That would, that would be fine. We don't see her in the trailer footage in the Cyberman siege. Okay, they approached the cell... Right, okay, okay. I was hoping I would never see him. Yeah, once. It wasn't nice. Ace turns to the doctor and says, Can I go in with you? <laughs> no, Ace, I have to do this on my own. But we, we've just we've already had the conversation between the doctor and the master unless she's no I'm having to, I'm having to, to I'm, I'm having to, I'm having to rearrange some bits now because because so that there's only so that there's only a few of them in the cell the doctor enters the cell while Ace Tegan Yaz and Dan are outside. The master addresses everyone outside. Ooh, hello, are you here just for little old me? The doctor, you're going to talk now. The doctor looks at him quizzically. Okay, all the lights go off, all the doors automatically. The radio seal relights him on it must. Does an alarm go uh, off? Trapping the doctor and in his cell with him. Um, no, an alarm doesn't go off. Oh, I, I kept. I, mm. eh. I think eh, Kate eh, should eh. sound an alarm when she's talking to the security man. Sound the alarm. Okay. Should she say red alert? Yeah, okay, red alert. Because fuck it. Will do, Mom. Uh, right, the, the right the unit soldier sounds the alarm, and we see some like unit soldiers going to battle stations, I guess. Um, we s and then okay. Ace and Tegan need to get weapons somehow. Do they just get weapons? Do we just accept that they're being given weapons? Yeah. We see some unit soldiers mobilize and grab weapons. And Ace and Tegan grab them too. Ace and Tegan grab weapons too. And just nobody stops them. That's that's allowed. <laughs> Should we we need Tegan. to have an exchange. We need to have an exchange Tegan between uh, Ace Ace being like. Um, Ace being... This reminds me of the time that I splanged the reminds, reminds me on of, the... Like, the reminds me of the good old days. I think we need to have we need just to have her be established that she's happy about this. Just entirely, that's her mood. Yeah, it reminds me of the good old days. And then and, Tegan um, can have like a can't believe I'm getting back wrote, wrote back into this. I'm getting wrote back into this. Right, and that's when the Cybermen attack. 
I think um, I think we may have like a we could have like a little build up potentially. Um, okay. With with I don't know but what we what do we put in there. Um, we need um, we need Ace try not Ace sorry we need um, we need Kate trying to restore power. Um, I, so we need um, so we need a scene of that. We need to like be like okay we've got the lights back up the whatever right so that the scene looks like it does in the trailer. Um, and and then he he's saying I've got um, I've got internal systems back up. That's cameras, lights. Uh, I'm still working on the external security. Um, and then we can have Kate sort of make some kind of wild conjecture. Oh no, I guess not even wild. Just conjecture about. Um, well, if he's disabled the locks, he must be, he must be, he must be here to let something in or something. I don't know. I can't think of the proper way to phrase that. If he's in here, he must want to be in here. If he's in um, here and he can do well, this, he must want to be in here. He, he's, he, he's def he must have opened the lot. He must have opened the doors for someone. I think we can have both those lines. Uh, I think we can have like, he he must be. Yeah, he must want to be in here, and he definitely opened those doors for someone. Have we forgotten that he Osgood must... is around? Yeah, f fuck her. Who cares? <laughs> or do we cut to like her in like her science lab again? Yeah, okay. Um... Um, and then she can sort of see the alarm, then like go to her computer monitor, um, and then check the security screens and see like something in the distance. Science lab. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Science lab. Osgood. Here's the alarm. Because I like the idea that she's just been standing there and an <laughs> alarm has been going off this entire time. <laughs> And looks up from her test tubes. She goes over to the computer. Looks out. She sees something approach the building from the mist. She looks over the top of her spectacles. And this is when we have the scene of the random character who his wife is well, pregnant. <laughs> he needs to be killed when the Cybermen get in, right? Yeah, yeah, think, yeah, because they're getting we, in, yeah. We need more build-up. I think, I, as in, like, we need... Um, what we need is dialogue being, like, you know, um, several... Um, we've detected several hostile entities approaching... The, the yeah, okay, more whatever. build up. Okay, um, unit, unit security center. We're detecting. Um, a soldier is looking in a computer. We've detected several oh, hostile. Before, actually, before we cut back to the, the security center, I think we need like the doctor trapped in the room with the master, and she says, What have you yeah, done? Yeah. And he says something like, yep. I've just. I've just opened up the doors or whatever. I don't know. I'm, I'm, my brain is suddenly entirely empty of bad Chibnall dialogue. It's just bad dialogue now. It's just, it's just dialogue. It's just really bad dialogue. That's not at all <laughs> reminiscent of the way Chris does bad dialogue. Prison cell. The doctor is furious. What <laughs> have you done? I've just sent out a few party invitations. <laughs> yeah, I've got that. I'm putting that in invitations. Then the security center scene. Then my little scene of 
my expectant father dying. And then a scene in a corridor of Tegan and Ace waiting for some Cybermen to appear. Uh, yeah, I mean, what they in the trailer they're hiding behind like a, a table that they flipped up. Um... Ace and Tegan are hiding behind a flipped table. So, do we have like um, Kate Stewart when she's told that there are multiple like people approaching? It's like, what are they? And the soldier can be like, still working on that, mom. Right, unit security center. Kate Stewart looks over the soldier's shoulder. We've given her too many lines. None of them are good ones. <laughs> I mean, actually, no. Some of them are just her being sensible and doing her job properly, which I don't think we've seen from her yet this era. She she handles um, the Grand Serpent so incredibly poorly. I hate it. Like, her whole thing is is, is supposedly, like... Um, being calm and collected, holding out cards close to the chest, and calculate and being calculating and figure out what to, figuring out what to do uh, in any situation. But with the Grand Serpent, she immediately just yells like, "Fuck off, you twat!" So I've just had a super chat that says, "Can we have an elevator scene with Doctor in distress MIDI music?" <laughs> I want to see that. I like I like that idea a lot. Ryan runs into the master with the unicycle, saving the day and dying in the process, with Graham asking, Has anyone seen Ryan? <laughs> All right, so I've got Ace and Tegan hiding behind a flip table. Right. So, um... I think we should just do this scene and then finish for the night. I am getting quite tired, to be honest, yeah. Yeah, I can sense that. Um... Uh, uh, yeah, my, my input my input is not, um... It's not flowing, I guess. Um, it's hard, this, isn't it? It is. It's... It's... I have a you new found respect for Chris Chibnall. Yeah, you see. <laughs> Clip that up. Clip that up. Put it. Put it. Put it. Put it on all of the channels. JXC admits a new found respect for Chris Chibnall. Right. So, um... <laughs> do we do we just have the side men? Like, I think we show. I think we need to like do a, a dramatic cut to like the Cybermen actually arriving, right? You know, kind of like um, Age of Steel style, um, where they're marching on the building, and then we show them sort of, um, you know, brutalizing the unit soldiers. I guess the Cybermen march on the building. They approach unit soldiers who shoot them. I think there need to be cyber masters among them as well. Age right. of Steel style. There are some cyber masters among the. Oh, yes, I... I've just had a thought. Um, okay, go on. This thought would actually improve the script, so maybe we wouldn't do. Maybe we won't do it. <laughs> but um, the master still has the Siberium, I guess. Like that's not gone anywhere. And since the powers of the Siberium are to just do whatever the script needs it to, he could use the Siberium <laughs> to break to do like, to mess with the unit security. That's the thing that came out of his mouth. Yeah, the Siberium. 
Hang on, the thing that came out of his mouth is the Siberian. I'm just going to put that in it. It is the Siberian. What did I just do? Oh, I accidentally deleted a bunch of it. No! Okay, so Okay, I've, I just did Control Z. It's fine. There are some side. Okay, so I've got a scene of the side men just like brutalizing some unit soldiers. Excellent. Okay, so Ace and Tegan are, are in a corridor and they're hiding behind a flip table, holding their guns up, expecting, expecting Cybermen to break in. Um. And we see we see the side yeah we see the side men like breaching the facility the doors. Um, do we do we have any dialogue between Ace and Tegan now like sort of? I'm not sure what happens now. I, I thought I was I thought I was done trying I thought I was done almost dying. Yeah, we can have that. Almost dying. Ace goes, me, I've never stopped. Yep. Definitely. Uh, and then Cybermen breach the room and they both fire. Cybermen breach the room and they both fire. Oh, no, actually, before that, I think they should find out that it's Cybermen, I guess, from Kate or whatever. Like they're in, they're in like earshot of the security people that Kate is talking to. Um, no, the Ace has Ace has a walkie-talkie. Sure. Yeah. Um. Or or does, uh, does, um, or does do. Kate just just um do it on the comm system, right? Like, so we need it in the scene where um. We need it in the scene where, um, oh fucking hell, I am tired. Um, I noticed. No, hang on, hang on a sec, hang on a sec. So, um, Ace says, "Do we know what they are yet?" Kate says, "I think they're Cybermen," and Tegan looks like mortified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she, then we like see uh, over set over that footage of Adric dying in Earthshock. Uh, we don't, we can't put in the footage of Adric dying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just she does a face which makes her, which goes. I I'm reminded of Adric. I think I think we can we can have her be we can have yeah, her. So like, this is just like this, this is just like the time that Adric died because of the Cybermen. I think I think she should be like Cyberman in like um like a like a you know an, like an unhappy voice like a oh no Cyberman <laughs> and then Ace like finishes her sentence for her and she says easy and like loads her gun. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Yes, 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 sir. Hang on, right. So, Tegan. Cyber. And then the Cybermen breach the room, and we get the, the screaming and the shooting. Ace Cox are gone. Easy. Cybermen breach the room. Ace opens fire. Cut to the doctor. Oh, wait. First, we need the Cybermen to miss several shots. Um, but then I think we cut to the doctor in like the in the cell with the master saying, who's coming? Who have you let in? And the master can be sort of going, don't you remember who you left me with? <laughs> I think that actually does... I think that... That I I realize how silly that sounds, but I actually do think that could be the dialogue. The doctor. Okay, yeah. Should we just leave it there for the day? I'm happy to because I'm dying. 
I don't. I'm sorry, Stuart. <laughs> I don't. I don't really know what's happened. I just sort of switched off halfway through. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. <laughs> uh, Adric. Adric, why? <laughs> Question: Do you plan to kill off any of these characters? Yes, Ace definitely dies. No, I mean, yeah, probably, but no, he's going to kill one of them off. I'm pretty sure of it. Why would he do that? Why would Why would they do that? Why would they lie? I'm pretty I'm pretty sure they're going to do that. Ace I Fox hope I, I hope you're wrong. No, I th I think Ace is gonna I think Ace is gonna die. Uh, I've just realised that this is the version of it where I left the um, buy out. Jay and Stu. Okay, I'm gonna tweet out what we've done to it. All right. Um, is, shall we? Have, have you got any more super chats to go through before we end? Uh, probably. I don't know. I'm also very tired as well. It's been a long week. I understand. So yeah, that is my that is my super prediction for when we, we all actually watch this episode. Ace is going to die. God, it's going to be a fucking experience, whatever happens. I'm pretty sure of that. Have I got any super chat? No, our last one was can we have an elevator scene of Doctor in Distress. All right. Anyway, I'm going to tweet, I'm going to tweet this out. Yes. And Jay is going to go to sleep. Yes. It will be linked in and the description that... as well. The script is linked in the description if you want to have a, a big look at it. Not of the Twitch, of the YouTube. And Jay went and had a little sleep. Shall I shall I sing you a lullaby? What lullaby? It will be the creativity song from Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. I, I'm i not familiar with that, but I feel sceptical of agreeing to a Don't idea? Hug Me, I'm Scared song. Anyway. Mine is being creative. How do you get the Thanks idea? for tuning in, everyone. It's like the thing. Creative. We will now, probably you see you again story, before the centenary comes Sorry, out. Please. We're not what sure what for yet. We've not decided. Could be more of this. Could be something yeah. else. Who knows? Hope you've enjoyed. Goodbye. Mm. This is the hand I need to oh, stop. Oh, Paul Blart says I'm Paul Blart. <laughs>